Hi, my name is Cameron, and today I am going to introduce you to the LifeSky Vacuum Flask. I just got it in the mail from Amazon, and I'm going to give you a quick introduction of what it looks coming, what it looks like coming straight out of the box. Haven't had any time with the product yet, but uh, just opened it up. Comes in a little plastic sleeve. So just taking a look at it, um, it is a, a, a thermos for, I'm going to use it for coffee, from LifeSky. It's got a, I can see a button right here, a little switch that goes from lock to unlock, so you can keep it when it's locked from opening up on you, and if I lock it and I press that button, I don't, I can't, can't pop it open. So I click it to the unlock, and let's try that. There it goes. So uh, inside here, it's got um, rubber on this piece to keep it sealed when it's closed. This lip feels it's, it could be hard plastic, or it, I think it's hard plastic. Um, anyway, you can see what it looks like in there. And it's got a big lip for uh, making sure you don't spill coffee all over the front of yourself. Uh, I'll close it up, clicks in place. If I open it, Inside there is uh, it's metal inside, <clears throat> and uh, there's a little rubber ring right here for keeping it sealed when it's when it's closed. Seems like it should keep in the uh, the heat pretty well, so that'll be good. But I'll give it a try here over the next couple days with my coffee and see if it outperforms my current my current thermos. Um, all right, thanks a lot. Hope that this was helpful. Hi, I'm Cameron, and today I am reviewing the LifeSky Insulated Travel Coffee Mug. Um, I have had a couple days with it. It's right here with me. Uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts. To start off with, uh, I'll tell you that I like the way that it, uh, it looks and feels. It's well made. Um, it's got a good quality to it. I like the, the texture on the outside. It's got a little bit of a grippiness to it, not totally uh, slick. Um, also, it's pretty functional. Uh, there's a little button here that I showed in my unboxing video where you can lock it in place so that you can't open the spout or the spout doesn't open up on you. So if you're going to be holding it in the car for like a long car ride, maybe it's going to be uh, sloshing around in the back seat. You can be sure that it's not going to pop open and spill everywhere on, on, your, on your car or whatever. Um, and that is handy also. <clears throat> um, I also, the, probably the biggest thing that stands out is that, man, this thing keeps in the heat. Uh, I used it, I probably poured coffee at 7 a.m., I had the lid open even for a couple hours, and uh, at 11 a.m. it was still pretty seriously warmish, hottish coffee. Uh, and that's with having the lid open for probably a couple hours of that. Um, by the afternoon, you know, it was not quite room temperature, but it was getting there. Uh, but if you keep it shut all day, it will, uh, it will, I, I bet you will, it says it lasts 12 hours, and I don't doubt that. Um, really insulated well. Uh, the other thing that I like, you know, they, they put some thought into some of the design, so when you open the lid and you pull it back, it kind of snaps into place so that when you're drinking from it, that lid doesn't, doesn't come down onto your nose. So that's nice. Uh, also a couple things that I think Maybe, maybe mostly personal preference, um, but you should be aware of. Uh, the, the spout really takes getting used to. I haven't used a coffee uh, mug that has quite an elaborate spout like that, uh, and it's sort of weird. It's so f the, the hole is so far from your mouth that you can actually see out of the corner of your eye the coffee coming towards your mouth. That actually turns into kind of a good thing, um, because you're not surprised when all of a sudden, boom, there's boiling hot coffee in your mouth. You get to see it coming, kind of pulls up a little bit, and then it starts going down in your mouth, and you can kind of brace your mouth. And that is handy. It just takes some getting used to. Uh, and part of the, maybe one of the downsides of the spout, I, this might not bother anybody, but it kind of grossed me out. Uh, it's a bright white spout, and you can see that after some use, uh, there's some gunk. You know, I mean, it's all coffee. It's just dried coffee. It's the coffee that was going to be in my mouth, and instead it sat on the spout. But it just kind of grossed me out. I'm finicky like that. It might gross you out. I don't know. Maybe you're totally cool with it. You're like, that's a silly thing to, to call out. But 
it does have a, you know, dried coffee kind of sits there on the spout all day. Um, another kind of thing, I washed it, uh, and I, I, when I wash it, I notice, I hand wash it, and, you know, I leave it overnight on the little drain thing, and when I get up in the morning, uh, there is a pool of water still in the lid. It's just hard to kind of get that, you got to shake it a lot. It, it looks like inside this lid, it kind of has a place where water can collect, so you got to kind of you know, make sure you're draining it out and then kind of reposition it make sure you're just, it was hard to get all the water out. I mean, it took 15 seconds. It wasn't the end of the world, but if you're going to do it every day, you know, that you might not, you might find that kind of annoying. Um, maybe you'll get used to it. Maybe you'll find a way to not have it happen. Also, maybe not a bad thing. Um, it is a lot taller than, and a little thinner than other travel mugs that I have, that I have. And, that may play a role in your decision if you're going to be putting it into a uh, into a cup holder in your car that maybe isn't as friendly to tall, thin uh, drink carriers. Um, not a huge deal. Uh, again, I like the way it looks; it's aesthetically pleasing, um, but it is taller and thinner. Overall, my experience has been very positive. Uh, I'm going to keep using it. It is it is much better than the the coffee mug that I have been using. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm going to rate this a 4 out of 5 stars and just taking off a star for the couple of things I mentioned. At $14.99, this gives you a pretty good value, I think, if you were to look at the other things that are available. If you pay less than that, you're probably going to get something plastic with a lid that doesn't seal very well, uh, with maybe uh, uh, it's not going to keep in the heat, um, and that's what I found with, with Travel mugs is that uh, keeping in the heat is very important, and the, the cheaper ones that you get do not do that. Do not keep it in well. This thing is a very good job at keeping in the heat, so uh, I can recommend this product. All right, hope this has been helpful. Thanks.